Hey guys and welcome back to another Brawl video. As you can see we unlocked Mr. P without having spent any gems. We got the 5 mega boxes and we actually got a lot from the mega boxes. We're able to get both Rico's star powers and so now we've never played with either of these before. But let's just have a look at the new update. Let's start from the very home screen, the home screen here. So I'm just going to move this over here. So you can see we have the new background you can see in the back it's kind of like you got mr p kind of like a bunny case in the background there moving up and down um we have this sort of reddish background new theme music of course we've got the new brawler and then probably the most biggest thing that they've done with the revamp here is you go to the brawlers you go to the stats and look at this guys just let's take in every single detail. Well, first of all, the coins stay in the top right corner there, which is a little bit odd. Well, why the gems don't stay there, I don't know. Um, obviously, because you can upgrade, you can see how many enemy coins you have. But let's just have a look at everything. Let's start from left to right. You've got over here, you've got the name, which is slanted. You can see it on the left there, Mr. P, Sharpshear, um, a mythic. It's got an almost very slang style to it. Um, we've got, instead of having the description on the right, it is now on the left. Um, and on the right side over here, we have what the brawler is good at. So this brawler is very good utility. Um, it's got offense, is fairly good as well, but defense, not so good. Now, this is very useful um, if you guys don't exactly know how to use a brawler, you just unlocked a new brawler, you've never played with them before. Um, so this can be very useful for me, for instance. I'll be able to, because I only just unlocked him about five minutes ago. Um, so I'm able to see what, where I can use him in, what position I can use him in. Um, and uh, what, what team comp is best being used with. So obviously um, everyone's going to be using Mr. P at this trophy level, but we're going to take him into Solo Showdown anyway. Um, he actually might be quite good in Brawl Ball, um, so I'll actually take him into Brawl Ball just because um, I, was, I was hesitant to take him into Brawl Ball because of him being low trophies, but because it shouldn't really matter too much. Um, because. You know, it's a new brawler, may as well try him out in the game with I think he'll be one of the best at. Because he's able to shoot at the walls, get over the walls, maybe kill some people as they're coming out of their spawn once they're not invincible anymore, and take a huge advantage of that. So let's go back over here and select him, um, and let's go into Brawl with him. We have never played Mr. P before, this is the first time trying him. This is going to be really good. Um, I love the new loading screen, by the way, guys. The Tara, Tara skin's brilliant. Okay, so we have to hit the brawler to do damage to them to get the bounce effect. The B seems to be FK because she's back now. There we go. Um, so we do have a fairly low HP, which isn't exactly what we need. We're, what we're going to do is we're just going to chuck it up there. Okay, we're going to be able to take out this uh, Jess, uh, Shelly, not Jessie, really easily there. But this bounce effect, when the case hits the brawler, only uh, the bounce effect only works when you actually hit the brawler. Um, those are bots now. Um, because if you have the star power, this isn't the case. You the case <laughs> the case the the case will bounce even if you don't hit a brawler um, with one of the star powers, which is really cool. Um, I really do think that's a great star power. Which the other star power, which they're releasing into the game, is just a little bit health, more health on your super. We never actually use our super there because we didn't really need to, but I would suggest chucking the super in the back so the robots continuously spawn out into mid to play, into the midfield without the enemy being able to take it out. That way you'll be taking full advantage of it, you'll be able to keep it alive for longer, it's going to be really useful. Let's get try. Okay, there we go, it's a goal anyway. Rosa can just walk it in because the enemy team does not know what they're doing. So I'm surprised I'm, we're not seeing more. Um... Oh, goodness more uh, of uh, the Mr. P's because really they're, you know, I was going to, oh, I thought I was going to be able to super that but not quite. Yeah, he is a little bit powerful if you're able to auto aim him, um, but that's going to be another goal and that's really easy wins. But if people, if you're facing noobs, they're kind of clamped up together, this is why 3v3 game modes will be really good for Mr. P because if you're standing behind him, um, he'll be able to do really, really well. Um, so it's kind of like a, a Jesse or a Penny effect. The same causes is going to be um, the case. So we're just going to open up this box really quick. It happens and hop into another match here. But it's kind of similar effect that a Jesse or a Penny has. 
you cannot stand behind another brawler or even around the other brawler because of the splash damage it does. Um, get one more shot off. No, okay, it's fine. We see the tick over here. That should be a goal, really. Okay, yeah, nice. Dynamite was never going to be able to defend on his own there. Um, so this is actually really good. They're clamping up together. These are clearly noobs, if not bots. Um, it's so easy at this trophy level. It's run for the ball. Primo's going to be e easily able to take care of this. I mean, come on, Primo. We're just going to chuck it down just so you guys can see what it's like. Primo's just going to super in. And that is another goal. So I thought I'd just show you guys some gameplay of him. He's, I reckon he's going to be best in Brawl Ball. Really easy matches. Um, if you if you guys don't have him, I do not recommend buying him with 350 gems. Yes, okay, he's a new brawler, it's a new hype, whatever, but you're gonna get him out of the box sooner or later um, rather than spending 350 gems. I mean, that's 20 quid worth of gems just on one brawler when you could spend it on more boxes, which you get coins as well as power points, as well as getting the brawler out of it. Um, because I got Mr. P out of the, out of the Mega Boxes, uh, he was the fourth Mega Box I got him out of, um, and I got a lot of coins, power tokens, etc, gems, tickets as well, um, and I still probably spent, well obviously it was three boxes, but it's probably only worth the same amount of money, so I would definitely recommend opening Mega Boxes instead of buying him for 350 gems. So we're gonna hop into one more here. Um, oh, I love that loading screen. Eight bits. Oh my word, that eight bit skin in the background though. Mr. P is just really cool. His pro wow, they got wrecked there. His profile is just so cool. Like his icon face there is like a little bird, business bird. It's honestly really cool. Um, but yeah. Oh, I love this new update. I think the revamp has got to be the most. Uh, most uh, most important slash useful things that we have now inside the game. Um, the home screen, uh, the revamp on the brawler's profiles and info, it's got to be the most important thing um, we have in this update. Um, but we're actually going to go into Hot Zone as well, just so you guys can see all the different game modes. I've never played Hot Zone, so this is going to be the first. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, we're gonna have to try to take control of this area. I've never played it, but I think what you've got to do is you've got to take control of the area and be in there for as long as possible for the certain time limit without any of the enemy team being any team being in the area. Okay, so like right now here, how much longer is it? Does it have a time limit anywhere? No. Oh, all right. Every certain amount of time you get a point. That's cool. I'm just gonna chuck it over there. Sorry for moving around, guys. Um. Wow. We're easily taking this. It's as many as you can get. You can see the circle is going out the way. It's as many as you can possibly get in about 2 minutes 30, I think it was. We're just going to chuck this down in here because we're going to be able to take field advantage of this. And honestly, this is really, really good. Um, Primo's supering out there. That's going to be really, really good. Um, and uh, yeah, we've taken full control. There's not much they can do. My, my little turret here keeps on spawning these... Um, robots which are absolutely destroying honestly but look you can chuck the suitcase it'll go over the walls I think that is really cool honestly yeah that's really cool I love that suitcase but see right there we're able to take advantage of the suitcase by chucking it over the walls um, look guys this is 18 points to nothing so far that's absolutely crazy I wonder if you can get like a record in um, this already which can't be beaten because look how easily this we are doing this here. That's 27, 22, 23, double points, oh wow. Okay, last 30 seconds it goes into double points by looks of it, which is pretty cool. Um, I like how that added in because there's more chance for comeback, I guess, you could say. Take him out, thank you. Come on, we get these points. 29, 30. Okay, so that's 32 points already, that is absolutely crazy. Wow, we don't need to do anything guys, that's game. 37 points in this mode, that is really cool. Um, we're obviously going to take Star Player there, that is so amazing. Um, I think he's going to be best in Brawl Ball. So, Mr. P, fairly balanced, maybe a little bit overpowered with the suitcase being able to go over walls, maybe that should be a star power. Um, 
Or maybe you should only hit a brawler and then it goes over the walls, maybe not being able to just hit the walls and it goes over. Um, but what I think of Mr. P. Fairly balanced, maybe a little bit on the overpowered side because of suitcase bounce. Um, health, I think, is the right amount. His turret might be a little bit too powerful. Um, just a quick case in 3v3 is being able to put it in the back. No one's going to get to it. This, these little robots are going to be continuously spawned. You're going to have to waste ammo on the robots um, and it's going to be really good. But anyway, that's my review of it. I think Hot Zone is going to be a really fun game mode. Um, and that 30 seconds time left, you get double points. I think that's going to be really, really important. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like um, and write down in the comments saying you did so. I will see you in the next video, guys. Have a great day and peace out.